All right, people, let's have a chat about my window quotes, prices, what I'm choosing, what I'm going for, and all that business. These are quotes for the main house. That doesn't need doing over there. I'll quickly just cut to the chase, run you through some quotes that I've got, and then I'll go into detail afterwards. 18,684, 25 pence. That was just for frames only, so I had to source my own glass. 17,863. Uh, that's glass and frames, uh, no fitting at all. £28,505, uh, that's frames, glass and fitting. 28841 that's glass, frames and fitting. 15699 which was later revised to 22831 glass and frames, no fitting. The last one is 24,946. That's glass, frames, and fitting. Now there's a few things I'll look at when I'm analyzing my quotations. A major one, obviously, would be price. Whilst price is number one, I'm really interested in value for money. So there's a few other things I'll look at as well. I'd also consider the information that they've given to me, whether it meets the specification, and whether the details are even accurate. Now it's October 2022. So I need to think about lead times. It's nearly Christmas. Winter is approaching. I also need to think about the work involved. Do I want a full service, supply and fit? Or do I want to get involved myself, save some money? And a few of you might already know, I don't have a trade. I just have a go. So what do you think I'm going to do? Now I'm recording this a little bit later than I intended. So I'm going to sit out of the wind with a couple of lights on, talk you through my quotes, show you on screen exactly what I'm looking at, and we'll go from there. Oh no, I don't have any internet. Shit. <laughs> this started a year ago, roughly, uh, where I got some quotations. One of them, Aspire Bifolds, offered me a quotation, gave me a price, gave me a 10% discount on that price, and said that they wanted to use mine as a case study. That come in about 23,000, that was supply and fit. And there was another firm that was coming in just above 20 grand, that was supply and fit also. But it all come down to the U values. Now for my plans, my architect had put on there that I had to hit 1.2 on the U values. And I said to him, look, if I'm getting aluminium windows, I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hit the 1.2. Can you change that at all to like 1.6? And he said, I can't do 1.6 because it's a new build. If it was a conversion, like before, you could have maybe had 1.6. But because it's a new build, it needs to be 1.4. So he changed it to 1.4. So my priority was hitting the 1.4 U-value based off of aluminium windows. The reason why I'm going down aluminium windows is because initially on the Class Q application, the Heritage Officer had insisted because of the metal windows that were in there previously, she had believed that they was critical and as a result of that recommended that we had to have critical windows on the Class Q application. So when I went for the full planning application, I changed it to critical style windows that were aluminium, and that's the reason I was going down that route. Anyway, Aspire Biofolds, after three or four tries of me asking to them to clarify what the U values were for them particular windows, they failed to respond. And the other firm wasn't too sure on the U values and said, well, we might need to go triple glazed. And I just thought, well, why can't you just quote me on triple glaze if that's what needs to be done? From Aspire, they was quoted me for, for origin frames. And then that meant that I thought, well, sod you, I'll go direct myself. So I've got myself an origin partner account now as if I can actually spec everything. I, I can basically supply you frames if you want or windows you probably won't want to when you look at the price but i've been trained on this as well let's just show you i'll quickly just run through a couple of things so so these are all the defaults down here let's just go uh should we go for a bifold door just go door one and then you just put in your own width. So let's just say this is two, four, seven, eight, and then it is 
this 1950 tool. So you can fit, uh, choose the uh, sight lines and the frames. Let's just leave it on that. You can choose how many leaves you want. So let's just say four. Door configuration, you can choose which one it is and then you can customize it and you select all of your things, whether you've got a seal, what what handles you're having, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, so you see, obviously the price comes up here free, free. So I done pretty much everything. I was unable to do the gable ends. So they wanted to do the gable end because I hadn't had the training on it at the time. So I sent off the information to them. Now before then, on my actual window specification, uh, the small rent windows around the side, so I'll bring up the plans for you. Um, in the bedrooms, I need direct like fire escapes basically so bedroom one has got the double doors that's fine bedroom two and three just have windows and there's not a direct escape out onto oxy outside so two of them windows need to qualify as an actual fire escape i've done the quotation this was like last year and i pulled up the same information so if i go into add window so i think i was doing ow 70s um, my windows roughly say 1100 wide and the height I think was 110 the windows that I wanted was two horizontal like this so this one's opening this one's fixed and then what I wanted to do was emergency exit yes okay so on that width of window, it's 32 millimeters too small. So I couldn't then have that configuration because it's not big enough on two of the windows, but I wanted it to look like that to match the originals. So the only options that I would have at that point is to go either one square, just have one massive window. Now bearing in mind, you need to have the, the glazing bars going across. I wasn't sure how that was going to look and I wasn't too happy about that just looking that way that's on that frame I had to change it to this one so it's the OWA so it's even more money uh, and then I can go French windows and French And then one needs to be the master. Okay, so we've got French windows now. So they both open. That will give me, that will qualify as an emergency exit. Now you can see, obviously, the price has gone massively up. I've done my rough quotation. I've got the rough sizes in. Then I went to get the gable price. So I'd emailed them. And overnight, I was talking to Lou. And I'm saying, right, these are the options that we can do on these particular windows. And shall we go for the French windows, even though they're more expensive, but it will qualify as it being a, a fire escape at that point. She said, yeah, let's go for it. And I had already told her what the price increase was. Now, between me telling her that and saying, right, it's going to come to roughly about 14,000. This is just for the frames and then I need to get the glass separately. The origin team quoted the actual gable and sent me the quotation over and then all of the prices just shot up like you wouldn't believe. Turning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. So it went from being about 14,000, that's what I anticipated with the gable. Yeah, uh, so with origin it comes to 18,684.25. So we know what the price is. Now, in terms of the information and specification, it's relatively easy for me to find the information and specification because I'm I'm involved in it. Okay, so the specification on these, it says for a 1.4 U-value, use a 1.2 U-value or better glass. And then it, it gives you the actual glass specifications that you need to get in order to qualify. And you can select, obviously, whether you're gonna go triple glazed, double glazed uh, on the beading. Um, down here somewhere yeah glass unit 28 millimeter 
and then I can change that to 44 or 32, whatever you want. In terms of dealing with them directly, Claire, the training person, she was brilliant. I was speaking to Kylie a lot. She was from the onboarding team. It was okay. I questioned her. As soon as that quotation shot up, she was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know whether their system was still using prices from last year. And even though I was amending the quote, the prices just hadn't updated. But obviously going from 14 back grand up to like 19, that's a lot of bloody money considering I still need to get the glass. The thing I do like about it, you can download the, uh, the CAD drawings. You can see exactly what you're getting, which was helpful in terms of setting out exactly where the gable was gonna sit. I had to measure this gable out. They gave me two straight off even though i gave her an opening size and the window size that i wanted and she quoted on both of them so she wasn't paying attention the angles on the actual gables it's 108.3 degrees now if you take that 0 0.3 degrees off on this corner bit here then that throws the top off by a 10 mil so she had put in a specification where it was mathematically impossible because it was 108 degrees here and then i think it's 1492 for the total height which which wouldn't have happened because it would have dropped down if that angle was 108 degrees so anyway so that's obviously the accuracy thing that i'm talking about they did actually give me the uh contact information for the business development manager when i said about the pricing he did call me left me a message and said call me and we'll talk about pricing um i did try and call him a couple of times but i couldn't get through to him but when it come down to it i was just thinking this is just too much money it's going to be ridiculous now once you get the glass on top so i've recently joined a facebook group it's called uk self builders and i thought a post on there saying that i basically got into this situation where i got a trade account I was getting a quotation, the price is shot up by almost 50%. Is this like what what the situation is? What what is happening here? Um, a lot of people said, yeah, prices have gone up, blah, 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 blah. Obviously I knew prices have gone up, but it's just that obviously between one night where I was expecting it to be about 14,000 up to 19,000, it, it just didn't make sense to me. And they, they didn't give me a satisfactory explanation in any way, shape or form. I don't know whether um Vish, the business development manager would have told me anything different i wasn't happy with it basically so on here there was a few people that said right contact my firm and get a quote so now i decided that actually i need to get properly involved in this i can't just go to one company and then expect it to be like the best option because it, it rarely is now i do this thing where i just go on go off on one for a day or two looking at companies and I just send out loads of bloody emails for anyone that comes back to me. So I emailed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen companies and I got back six quotes in the end. Well, I had six quotes effectively including origins, so five more. Off of one of them comments there was a bloke called Colin. He said, get a quote from Colin Sash Windows. I assume it was his own company. They couldn't provide me a quote on the basis they didn't do any solar glass. I need solar glass on the Gabe lens because it's south facing. And I said, can't you just quote me for everything apart from the glass on that? And then the woman had come back and said, no, we, we only supply with the glass. We won't just give you the frames and you can't source like your own thing separately which I think is a bit ridiculous. They, they could have achieved some business. They chose not to on the basis that they couldn't be bothered to try and source the right glass or give it to me without the glass. I've got a self-build account with um, Travis Perkins and the manager, he does give me discounts and stuff that if I get it through them and the majority of stuff I will get through them because I've had loads of issues with the building merchants before, apart from Travis Perkins. Anyway, so he's the one that come in at 15699. That was through a company called Vista Glaze, something that I didn't realise that I needed before, but I was made aware from the quotations that I got previously, was the I need to be doc Q compliant, which is basically a security thing. And as soon as I said to the manager, is this doc 
Q compliant and he said no I'll have to get it requoted and then as soon as he got it requoted it come out £22,831. With Vista Glaze through Travis Perkins obviously there's no pricing on there because Travis Perkins would actually give their own like they bump it up a little bit to make a little bit of money off of it it says it's supply and it's past 24 and past 24 is the security rating so it's a testing if a burglar can get in within a couple of minutes basically so they've changed it to past 24 so this is the smart bifold now i don't believe that the smart bifolds are docu compliant or i don't i'm not sure so that was a, an issue that i had the previous year Everyone wanted to quote me on smart alley firms. They don't fit the um, requirement for past 24. Well, their windows do, but their doors don't. There wasn't enough information for me there. Uh, lead time four to five weeks, reasonable. It was quite expensive for what it was, in, in my eyes anyway. And it was a bit difficult going through a third party. I'd always need to go through him to get it adjusted. Now, I knew that the measurements that I gave them they wasn't bang on because I needed to change everything but next one we'll go for let's go for Clover if that's even how you pronounce it this is the most expensive 28,841 that is supply and fit so everything uh, you'll notice on the quotations it's past 24 it's part Q the issues that I had with this obviously it was quite expensive to go to start with um, I wasn't happy with if you look at the gable lens here that's a measurement of 900 and then that's 1492 there now the opposite side is exactly the same that's the way that I've measured it um, so it's, it's not different the angles not different or anything like that and yet they've put in a measurement of 870 there and then 1492 so this window is effectively wrong so in terms of the accuracy he's given me the wrong he's given me a wrong quote I haven't they're not the right sizes and I, I was a bit perturbed by this as well adding on a maintenance kit or two maintenance kits with a couple of cloths and some cleaning stuff 52 pound plus a VAT what, what do I even want them for I did like that they gave me the brochures that's cool uh, on the quotation it gives you a flow chart of exactly what the process is so that was useful but Bearing in mind, it was a lot of money. You made mistakes on a quote. It's not one that I'm probably gonna go for either. Next one, Express Biofold, Supply and Fit as well. As far as their quotation goes, it was good. I like it. This is the one that come in at £28,505. It's got all of the details that I'd need on there. It's, he's gave me some options if I wanted to lower the U values. Um, I mean, obviously, I'd, I wouldn't have to pay the VAT if it's supply and fit. That's obviously something I need to consider as well. Um, it's quite expensive. I like he's given me all of the information, all of the um, specifications. You've got all the leaflets. I like seeing the profiles of the actual units that I'm going to be buying. So everything's on there. All of the information that I could ever want. So I I appreciated that company. It's just that they're they're wanting a bit too much money for my liking, as far as I'm concerned. If I just wanted to hand it over and just like uh, go, yeah, you sort it out. This would probably be the company that I would use. That particular firm lead time eight to ten weeks. They inspired confidence with the information that they had given over to me. Next one, Massimo Sky seen them on social media seem quite a good company i i like what they do i would say that these probably come in second place and they could probably do a little bit more on their quotations so when when you get a quote through from them they just send you a link and you go through to their their website basically so at this point, I had actually said to him, right, this is exactly where I want the glazing bars going across. So everything's fine on there. They've given me the price. It comes in at 24,946.14. VAT obviously wouldn't be added because it's a new build. Uh, they've got their payment terms on there, eight to 10 
weeks. Everything included, they'll come and do a site for visit, they'll do the survey and everything. The thing on this one that I was lacking was any information. No, no information on the actual windows itself, no brochures, no pictures of actually what I'm gonna get. I could have probably got that from them. 25 grand is a lot better than the 28 grand or 20, almost 29 grand. So I thought it was probably worth it, but there was another option that was just a little bit more appealing. So the last quotation I'm gonna talk about is the one I'm actually going with, and the firm that done that was a company called Framex. This was off the back of my Facebook post. One of the guys from that firm said, get a quote from us. Uh, yeah, the price has gone up, but get a quote from us anyway. I dealt with uh, the sales uh, estimating Luke, great bloke. So straight away, he said, right, okay, uh, this is your quote. Here's a couple of brochures. You get triple glazing for to achieve your overall 1.4 or better U value. You solar glazing on the gable end elements. And then he says, like, let me know. So I've got a couple of brochures there. This is obviously from the company. Um, so that's fair enough. And then I've got obviously all of the price in there exactly what I'm gonna get. So the, the only issue with this uh, that I could see was everything was triple glazed, um, apart from the gable ends that he put in as double glazed. That came in at 17,863 pounds. The VAT, because it's supply only, this is the frames and glass, I would have to pay that VAT now, but I can reclaim it at the end. You're looking at 18 grand, in comparison to the the other one for Massimo, that was twenty five grand. Their actual installation is two and a half thousand, so I I I'm saving a lot of money on the actual frames it, itself. So having a chat with the governor from Framex as well, he said, look, the situation with these things like we mainly deal with trade supplier. Some of the blokes out there, they'll just get them from a company like us whack 30% on top and then that's obviously their profit margin whereas you can come directly to us and it just works out better for you. I'm kind of looking at trade prices. I mean, in terms of like the accuracy, what he gave me, there was no immediate mistakes apart from the double glazing issue that I did have to obviously drill into. I got all the information I needed, the specification was right. The lead times on these, he said it was three weeks. It's up to four weeks now because I'm getting some uh, seals that they don't usually stock. You need to check everything about it if you're, because at this point I've decided I'm gonna fit them myself. I need to make sure that all of the sizes are accurate, the seals are the right length, a couple of them. I can't have 150 because I'm doing uh, rendered finish on the outside so they need to be 190s the handles that he quoted for originally they was the crappy light just black aluminium ones the, that i could get for like a tenner off of ebay that i stuck on my other doors i don't want to pay eighteen thousand for something or even nineteen thousand and have door door handles that i can get for a tenner the actual manufacturer senior architectural systems there we go stainless steel so i said can i get the same stainless steel ones he said yes but it wasn't an option until i pushed that with the seals on the doors there's a 175 option in the brochures so it's not something they normally do and then they had to contact the actual uh, manufacturer and say can we get some of these seals and they need to get them sprayed up the solar control glass they only had it on their systems double glazed and because i pushed on it I said like I, I want that triple glazed and then they had to amend it and go specifically to the glass manufacturer that they used in order to get the quotation in and also I needed obscure glazing in a couple of the windows as well which they normally wouldn't do in triple glazed not on their system anyway. So with all my add-ons, eventually the price came at 18,865. That's without VAT. I'm effectively paying 22,638. And then I'll reclaim the VAT right at the end of the process. So 18,865. So a little bit more expensive than what we started, 
but that's because I upped the glass spec to triple glaze for everywhere. I needed the solar control glass on the gable end. I also wanted uh, fancier handles as well and obscure glazing. Plus I changed the positions and the number of the actual glazing bars as well. But in the end, I've got everything that I actually want. It hits the U values as well. In terms of the U values, it is a bit questionable. If you're doing this kind of thing, I, I don't know obviously whether you go as granular as I do. The manufacturers go off these data sheets and there's SEN values, C-E-N. So they use a standard size door, a standard size window. They know that they won't necessarily be able to hit the U values if they add all these extras on. So what I found out is if the manufacturer is saying, right, you can achieve a U value of say 1.2 based on this SEN calculation, um, that's without any glazing bars, that's without a seal, that's without frame extensions on the outside. So it's in the real world, as soon as you get your window and you add the seal and you add this and you add that, your U value is nowhere near what they're saying it can achieve. So it seems like a bit of a bodge for everyone. And I think half the reason why most of them companies didn't come back and quote me, a lot of them couldn't achieve the U-values. I don't know whether it's because some of the manufacturers haven't worked out how to fudge the figures. I'm on old building regs as well, which makes a bit of a difference because I started this a couple of years ago. But for new building regs, the U values, you, you need to do even better. So I don't even think you'll be able to get aluminium windows at this point. You probably need to get alu clad. It probably needs to be triple glazed. Um, I just don't see how it's going to be achievable at the end of everything. That's the crack. They're the windows I'm going for. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that you need to think about. So overall, I think... I've got the best value for money. It turns out to be essentially the cheapest. I'm getting exactly what I want as well. Um, I just, I kind of, I've looked up the manuals. I know how to fit them. Uh, in terms of accuracy, we drilled it down in the end. Um, I've got, yeah, everything there. And it went from a three week lead to, lead to four weeks just on the basis that I'm getting um, window seals that you, they don't normally get and the reason why I'm doing that actually is because in terms of setting the windows in in place you're supposed to for thermal bridging and damp issues you're supposed to set them 30 mil back into the cavity and that means obviously your overhang on your seal is going to be adjusted slightly but you probably don't want to know all that stuff that's that'll be when I'm fitting them hopefully you found some of that useful if you've got any questions, you need any help or anything with your windows, then shoot them across. I'll, um, I'll do a separate video all about how I measured up as well, if you find that useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.